there's always going to be some hotter mm. i don't know what like check a hotter younger blonder, or whatever mm-hmm. like girl right sure but you're you're from here or you're not from here i'm from new york originally you're from new york okay it's so yeah. even better hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are great guys so we're going to be reacting to my channel triggered rage quit kiko mm. last video i saw kiko in i do not think you want to mess with someone her type but let's go right down to this Go to Michael, how long have you been married? <laughs> I've been married now five years, coming up on five years. Oh, it's a shit show. Nice. It's, no, look, I, it's a shit I missed dating apps. Like, I, ju- I got back together with They're my terrible. then girlfriend now. Yeah, they seem horrible. I, so I just missed it. And uh, so that would be hard, especially if I were a single guy mm-hmm. and I were living in dating app culture. And I just knew there were always just, there, there's always going to be some hotter. Mm-hmm. I don't know what like check a hotter younger blonder or whatever like mm-hmm. girl right sure but you're you're from here or you're not from here I'm from New York originally. you're from New York okay it's yeah. even better and you said you've known your wife since you were 10 yes, yes so I mean if you've known her since you were 10 you've been single between those times you've seen multiple women you've seen everybody out there you had your time to yes. explore no, and you basically learned that maybe there's not better and that's why you're with yes, your wife. but that's kind of like the modern lib thing is you've got to split up and do your mm-hmm. own thing and go but I don't believe that either um, I yeah just, I think it was BS I wish we, there was so much cultural pressure when my wife and I a sweet little Elisa when we were in, in mm-hmm. high school we they said oh you got to split for college you'd be crazy to date your girlfriend and your high school girlfriend mm-hmm. in college and then by the end of college we're like why the hell did we break up that was crazy we should have gotten married at 18, pumped out like a dozen kids, gone to move to a farm, and grown a big beard. Yeah, I didn't see all that. Sam, can, <laughs> can you push your That's microphone that closer towards you? Yeah. Um, I don't sorry, believe in Sorry you. to cut you off, Michael. I was word. talking about how I should have been Amish, you know? And, <laughs> Amish? Yeah. Um, ish, you know, like oh. sort of not fully all the way, but something like that. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it would have been... Since you guys knew each other at 10, 18 isn't that insane. That's already eight years it's yeah. almost you guys would have known each other for basically half your lives at that point so that's not insane for me i feel like it's insane when i see like 18 to probably 22 year olds getting married when they just they're getting engaged within a year of meeting somebody yeah. and it's like i feel i uh, very very strongly about my boyfriend so so strongly but i still know would not be the smartest decision to get engaged six months from now like when you say like the divorce rates are 50 percent it's like i'm sure there is some people who are blindsided in those relationships but i bet a good part of those relationships that end in divorce are people who got together who either a already knew it wasn't gonna probably work out b got married just because either someone was pregnant or C, they were forced into it and they are waiting till marriage or something so they just get married young Mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of those Pe- both parties going into it kind of are already knowing this isn't going to work out. How long have you been dating? Not long at all. We've known each other since September. We've only been exclusively right. dating since January. So it's been very, very, yeah. very brief. But yeah. I've never, I've been in two, two, year, two and a half year long relationships, one, one year long relationship, and I've never felt this way definitely about mm. anybody before. So I know the difference now. And that's also why I've said before, like some things I've said before have changed. Like before I thought I needed to be single to have fun and vacation or explore things but now i know i don't need that i would rather him be there you know last thing on the marriage thing um kind of the other reason why i'm hesitant is because my uh fiance wants to hyphenate our last names (laughs) uh so that's another issue there um let's let's move on from that um by the way you didn't introduce yourself as wish ariana grande from wish or Or walmart guys i like her i really do i like kiko i mean like from what I've seen so far, I've not seen any reason not to like her. So yeah, basically. But um, I'm just gonna specify on what she said. You know, why people get divorced? I agree with the three reasons she brought up. And um, for that is, uh, see, when you're being forced into marriage, especially at a young age, you might try to get to know the person and try to make things work out. But mm, not everybody's lucky that's what i can say and then getting married immediately get pregnant Ooh, that's the, that's a big one like it's a big one um you go pregnant so obviously your parents want you guys to just get married to avoid shame from and people mocking the family yeah i get that one too 
and then like it's just it's just i don't know some people clearly know that this particular thing is not going to work out between both of us meaning we are both not compatible for each other but at the same time you still it's either one person is always pushing it and then you get married and then you see that mm -mm, mm -mm, it's even like things are going to become worse between us and then who divorce so yeah, that's why um, the rate of divorce is really, really high. But then I would also say that at the same time, I feel, I just, it, this is like totally random, but I feel like people who know each other, like people who are in love, like get married, I feel like some people tend to fall out of love. It is, I wouldn't say it's rare. It happens, it really happens. But like people tend to fall out of love and they're like, nah, I don't just see this person the way I used to see her. There's no spark in the relationship, there's nothing, and then boom. And then people could also be in love and then one person gets busy and you don't like and all of a sudden you, you start going, maybe you start going out and then you don't just feel attracted to that person. Let, let's take for example I don't know who has watched Bell Air, but if you haven't, please go watch that movie. It's a really, really nice movie. Um, at some point in their relationship, yeah, the guy, I'm, I'm talking about the main cast, though. Not the main cast, like the big family in Bell Air, yeah. At some point, they, they were having issues in their marriage, and like it just felt, it just felt like um she wasn't seeing her husband the same way because the the cool guy who sent a meal and flowers to her in her office she was just like fantasizing about it she had a meal with the guy and she just liked everything she even told her husband like i love the attention he gave to me and everything so if not for anything at that point they could have had a divorce but because they were um they were able to work things out between them i think they were stable they became stable back but i'm just trying to say that these things happen like one person, one person may actually get more busy than the other and then we don't have time for the other person and then the other person is going out with her friends and having to get attention from other guys and or other women and then these things could actually be, result into getting a divorce uh, either ways i'm so happy for my kennels and it's just crazy how you've known someone since you were 10 years and then you still end up with that person i mean i know a couple they're actually a family friend they were together they've known themselves since they were born like they lived in the same compound they went to school together and it's just nice how they ended up together like it's crazy you literally know this person all your life mm. I just hope, I, I think things like this is very rare to actually see people getting a divorce from that stage where nothing is impossible, believe me. But guys, don't worry, think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.